So to the online participants, we are going to be kicking off for the next session, which is uh, getting started with uh, Wiki Loves Monuments uh, by Lucy and Syl. Um, so yeah, just getting set up and then we'll be getting started shortly. Thanks for joining. Right. If you have any comments, questions for the speakers, uh, you can use the Q&A and uh, we'll uh, no. uh, they'll answer the questions. You may not hear them, but I can hear you. Hi, people online. Ah, Nanoi, good to see you. Um, Nanoi, I'm going to ask Jeffrey to keep um, an eye on the chat so I know that when you have questions for me. Um, let me see if I can swap. I'm not sure if I can swap the camera though. Then you that means you have to be looking at Jeffrey instead of looking at me. No, no, no. The, the camera will be looking at you. Can you can okay, that's that's great. That's yeah. great. So okay. Hi, people here. Hi. Um Wiki Lost Monuments. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh -hoo. We can have some moments. I'm waiting for Lucy to come and join us here as well. Lucy is at the moment still um, in the big room, also doing a talk. Uh, conference uh, like this are, are just crazy. Um, so, so I hope she will be joining us um, in a few moments. Um, we have actually all sessions at Indaba this weekend they have their own etherpads. If you want to help note to take notes on sessions, you can find the etherpad links on Meta. I've included them here as well because I love people helping me take notes. So if there's anything you want to note or write down, or you think it is important for me to get back to and to understand, Please note it on the Etherpad as well. I'd like to know who is here with me today. Can you can we can we do a very quick round? Um, countries and and um, um, a name maybe. Um, the next one coming. Yeah. Because of the tradition of Nigeria. Ah. Okay. Okay, Uganda. Derek Randa. Okay. Geoffrey Uganda. U <laughs> Uganda. What was it? Uganda, Nigeria, United States, Tunisia, um, Cameroon, yeah. Kenya. That is great. So, who of you have organized Wiki Lost Monuments before? Okay, like that's 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 half of the people in the room. That's great. That's great to see. And um, we value your presence here today because this Q and A is not only for those who want to get started with Wiki Lost Monuments, but also those who have started before. Because your experiences, and your tips, can be very helpful to help other organizers get started. Because sometimes it, getting started with Wiki Lost Monuments and and also, the other photograph competitions that we have in the movement, it can be a bit difficult. Where do you start? That's exactly the topic of this presentation. So, before I start, I have a game. Because I like games. <laughs> um, and I'd like to know, do you recognize these pages? I have a few pictures for you. Winners. Of Wiki Lost Monuments. Yeah. India. 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 Correct. Correct. This was. Ooh, can I? Perhaps. Yeah, let's, let me see if I can move up the window just a bit. Up. So, indeed, this is a tune. This is uh, the winner of 2012 Wiki Lost Monuments International. Grand prize winner. Where's this? Which country? <laughs> Europe. 
<laughs> wrong continent. <laughs> wrong continent. <laughs> wrong continent. <laughs> Different continent. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It is not Dublin, no. Morocco. Greenland. You're close. You're getting closer. You don't recognize? Egypt. It's a, a former lighthouse, an ancient lighthouse. Alexandria. Sorry? Online is answering. Online is playing with us as well. That's cool. <laughs> Libya. No, 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 no. I'd be very happy, but no. I have to... Yeah, now I'm just gonna tell you this is um Nigeria. Nigeria. Oh, this Nigeria. is one. Oh, yeah, oh, crazy! crazy. I know, <laughs> guys. Come on, this was one of the national winners, um, and I think even international winners last oh, year. Wow. Last year, Nigeria. Nigerians, they all what is she? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but it's that yeah. is the fun though of Kikilos monuments. You'll see monuments in a way you've never seen them before. Wow. What is where is this? That's your church. It's Europe. It is a church. I'll go for Germany. Hold on. No. I'll go for Germany. No. France. Netherlands. Sweden. This yeah. is the really Ireland. Royal Trinity Church in Ireland. 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 I'm sorry. Ireland. 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 It's a national winner. Where's this? Ah. 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 Oh. ah, you got that. <laughs> Don't spoil. <laughs> this is Uganda. Uganda, national winner. This is the King's Palace. Yes. Yeah. And it's beautiful. That the pink building in the green, yeah. in the green, and with the, the a little bit of the fog, fog, the fog in the background. It's it's so it's, it's a beautiful. It's a beautiful picture. Where's this? I saw Russia. Russia. Yes, Do you mind taking back the last slide? I want to show the presenter when I go home. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, no, Ru Russia is wrong continent. No, but it's for, like, for Mongolia or wrong continent. No, Iceland. No, well, it's, it's, I can tell you it's the snow beautiful. fools you. Yeah, well, the snow cool. fools you. Yeah. It gives you the wrong continent. Yes, <laughs> Iran. Yeah, like, Iran, you can you can ski in Iran like you can ski in Morocco. You can ski in Iran. It wasn't wrong Mongolia So uh, yeah, church. It's a church in Iran. Old church. My favorite. My all time favorite. India. 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 Yeah. India. Can you can you guess why this one is my favorite? That's everything. People. people. Everything. But how is it? Why is the picture different from the six? Because it has everything. It's lively. It's the movement. It's the life. It is a living monument. This festival happens every year in India. And it's it's the color. It's the people. The monument is in use. What you've seen in the slides where like very static and of course beautiful pictures, compositions were beautiful. But I personally, if I would be on a journey, I love life in photographs. I, like, this is in use. Mm -hmm. um, international winner, We Lost Monuments 2017. Yeah. Um, it was, if you ever had the, the chance to talk to Suyash about this, it was a true effort to find the photographer because they had not confirmed their email address on comments. Mm -hmm. And um, working through social media, trying to track down the photographer and, and uh, in the end showing up at his house and asking you, hey, did you him 
did you um, um, uh, submit a photograph for a photo competition on Wikipedia? Oh yeah, sometime back. Well, guess what? You're the international winner of 2017. <laughs> it is a brilliant story. There, there are so many stories like that um, of the past 12 years. So I was hoping that Lucy would be in time to join me for the next section. But I'm now um, going to take you through this as well. Um, getting down to the organizing part. So quick facts. Wikidos Monuments is annually organized in September. Because of COVID, we opened up um, October as well because we wanted to be considerate of local um, circumstances and you know, are you allowed to get together in person, that kind of stuff? Um, we started in 2010 in the Netherlands. It was a Dutch initiative, and that's actually why um, there are some Dutch names still in, in the interface. Like you, we have the, the Rijks Monuments, but it makes sense in Dutch. does not make sense in other languages. It is a federated competition. So that means that you have a national competition. One country, one campaign. We um, it, we love to see different groups, different communities join in that one campaign because for participants, it makes sense to just have one banner, one click, one upload campaign. And we do it for the participants. Mm -hmm. So um, you don't want to have to choose, do I, do I want to like this campaign or that campaign if you have five different campaigns? It's difficult. You'll lose the participants. We are recognized by the Guinness Book of World Records 2011, and we doubled um, the number of photographs. 2012, we're still one of the one of the communities since Poland now has um, the world record in the Guinness Book um, for longest editathon. I think they they managed to do that last month in September. Um, so. There are a few Wikimedia communities in the Guinness Book of Records. Wikilos Monuments is one of them. Why do we do what we do? Uh, we, we're Wikipedians. We want to document and raise awareness. Uh, as you've seen, you, you saw uh, monuments in countries that you would not have guessed that would have been from that country. I'm very sad I took out my uh, United States example because in previous decks, I also have um, something that almost looks like a Indian Islamic thing, and it's actually based in, um, if I'm not wrong, Chicago. Um, it's it's a beautiful. You would not expect it in the Americas, and it's it is, and it's beautiful. Um, and one of the things that Wikilos Monuments also does is bolster the local Wikimedia communities because you get together in person and you have that same goal. And um, you go out and you have fun and you take pictures together. Why do we care? There is a deadline. There is a deadline. Sadly enough, monuments um, get lost sometimes. This is actually a um, contribution for Wiki Lost Monuments. Um, the three year old on fire because we lose now with the war in Ukraine. And um, we know uh, Syria has been a um, participant in um, Wiki Lost Monuments 2013, 2015, before the war there broke out. So we actually have photographs in Wikimedia comments on the free license of Syria before the whole world war started there. Sorry? Oh. Unfortunately, even the photographer is, is killed. Yeah, for Syria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm repeating for the online participants. Mm -hmm. um, but um, uh, yeah, so that's but that it's it is it is very sad when things like that happen. Um, and another thing is we love to share our excitement for heritage. It's just fun to talk to people mm -hmm. and to explain why is it so beautiful. To share your heritage. Yes, this is indeed a windmill. The one on the foreground is 1600, maybe 1500. Um, and um, it's this is Netherlands, correct? 
Yes, it is Netherlands. And um, the electric windmills in the background give a very funny comparison between the old ways and the new ways, and it's actually still the same after 500 years. So, Wikilos Monuments has five pillars. We try to keep it short and simple. Make it easy, make it fun, make it local. We help Wikipedia and we serve with quick and visible results because once you upload your images online, those are like the five pillars. And that's what I meant previously by saying it is, it is also for the participants. We are the Wikipedians. We can do like a whole bunch of stuff in the background. Um, and it's for the participants that we want to make it easy and fun. You do a wiki walk. You do, you know, you, you outline the monuments that you want to fo um, photograph, want to picture. You take people on a walk and you have buttons and stickers as we have here in the front. Um, just because it's fun. What do you need to get started? You need a list of not monuments. That sometimes is a big hurdle because the monuments have to be recognized. We previously said they have to be recognized by your government, but we know that that is an, um, a very difficult bar barrier in some countries, um, but it has to be officially recognized. Maybe there's an a, a association for culture in your country, or maybe there's a museum, a national museum that recognizes heritage. Like it's, we need a list. Without a list, we cannot, it is difficult to scope, it is difficult to judge. We need a landing page because we'll set up those beautiful banners, central notes banners, um, and direct people to the landing page. And the landing page needs to have information for the participants you type. You need a team. Don't do it by yourself. Don't, don't please. Appreciate the effort, <laughs> but try to get at least two, three people with you because you want to have one one person um, concerned about um, the jury, which is point number five, like the, the, having jurors and, and how like the, the judging process goes. And, um, you want to have someone that is concerned with the on wiki information. You want like you want to work together. You want to exchange ideas and, and also um, you're stronger together. You have to talk to pe people and decide on the rules and the prizes because the rules we as international team have are very basic. Mm -hmm. They uh, have to be uh, recognized, the monuments that are depicted, they have to be recognized. Um, we really need a confirmed email address on comments because otherwise we get a repetition of the India story I just shared with you. Um, so it's it's we we have very little requirements as international team. The rest is on you as a national team because your top ten we will send in before the deadline. This year the deadline is fifth of December to send the top ten to the international team, and then our international jury will start their work. Mm. This is the coverage of Africa. I have not been able to um, update the map. Uh, for 2023 yet this is the world map coverage the darker the red the more often a country has participated in wiki lost monuments mm -hmm. the whiter yes. so when you look at africa we'd love to get a bit more red in africa mm -hmm. yeah so you had um, several countries here that that just joined once you know, and, and maybe maybe it was too much of an effort. Maybe the volunteers found something different to do. Um, you know, that, that happens. We know that happens. And it's not a bad thing. But as an international team, we'd love to see where we can help you get this started again. So now it's up to you. I'd love to hear from you. We still have 10 minutes, maybe 15. I'd love to hear from you. What are your local challenges? Do you have lessons or tips you want to share here today? Do you have any questions about Wikilos Monuments? And I'll look at the chat in the meantime. No sound. Oh, my God. Oh. 
Thank you. Okay, sorry. Um, thank you for this opportunity. Um, I'm Sadiq from Nigeria. And um, the last uh, of solutions organized uh, in Nigeria was a collaborative effort from all the communities in Nigeria. Um, we ranging from the Nigeria and Nigeria group, and the Nigeria Bank and the group, the Google with the Nigeria group, it's here and the house. So, um, we team up just to bring the, the, uh, the whole contributions together through one funnel, um, which is an appeal channel for everybody. Mm -hmm. But uh, one of the challenges is this. Um, actually, these communities work independently. And um, we did our photo works independently, but we combined it together to make uh, our efforts known. And um, I must uh, be proud that um, in the last Monkey um, Loves Monument, I think in Africa, we are in the one and we are falling out in the world. So, and um, but one of the challenges is most of the photographers I contacted personally, that uh, the Photographers Association, they were asking, what's in for us? Yeah. What do we stand to gain? What's uh because they don't share Wikimedia go, and we had to convince them that okay, um, we we are voluntary organizations. We don't have money. We don't give money. And um, what we can do is that um, we can uh, we can issue you yes. a certificate of participation from each member that has ever contributed, and uh, we make sure that uh, we come to the events. Um, Anything you want to eat, anything you want to use based on the internet, the feeding, everything, we are going to take care of it. And, uh, but still, this request for more that can't I watermark my, watermark my photos? We say no. We can either just intercept that. But what can we do more? One of those things, one of those angles we need to explore more is how to support these people. So further, um, yeah, have that orientation that's it's not all about what they can earn or what they can what they can contribute to the development of the world and their community environment. So the challenge is what can they, they, they request they request for more, but we can't we can't answer to all the questions. They request for so many things, especially monetary aspects of it. Um, because of that, most of them um left that sorry, I can't be part of this because I have to. I have to get paid for what I do. So it's a very big challenge. I don't know what methods. I'm not saying we should be giving them money, but what are those incentives that we can use to entice them next time? So that's, I'm, 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 I'm saying this and I'm throwing it back as a question that what can we do to bring them closer next time? I think Thank that's you. that's a very, very good question. Thank you for asking that. So for people on Zoom, it was, uh, there was a, the story of the Nigerians, you have, if I counted correctly, five different groups joining together to organize one um, uh, photograph competition. And uh, photographers ask you, what's in it for me? Yeah. And it's it's difficult because you don't always want to give them money. You want them to realize those five pillars of fun. It's easy. You contribute to the world. Um, how, how do... did did the former organizers handle that maybe yeah, yeah i can i can i can share some experience from uganda um so i, th I think like like you said uh you know you have to try to sell the vision of big media like contributing to free knowledge um to them because sometimes these photographers have even photos that are seated on their computers and they're just there so like sometimes when you you know Sometimes when you uh, explain what Wikimedia is all about, some of them, you know, get interested. And it's okay if I explain to 10 and two of them pick the idea and, and want to contribute. I, I feel like I have, you know, succeeded. I don't feel about the other eight who said no. At least I know two of them see the point and, and they want to contribute their work. Uh, secondly, it's not true that there is no, uh, there is a price that comes with it. With 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 uh, a killer's monuments and um, it's a it's an international it's the biggest 
she had just said the statistics has won like the the, the world record twice. It's the biggest, you know. So for the photographer to be able to participate in that, you know, they are putting their work out there. And also there is attribution. They have not put a watermark on their photo, but whoever uses their photo has to has to attribute. So yeah, I I think it's, yeah, we face the same challenge, but at, at least I, I want to assure you that if you talk to 10 and 12 of them participate, that's good. You shouldn't feel like ah, the other eight have not gone, have not got what I, I wanted. Uh, at least you have gotten some interest. So in the same case in Uganda, have some photographers who participate every year. They come and also give like, you know, tips to new photographers and give them like training on how to, uh, you know, to take photos. So yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a challenge I acknowledge that exists, but yeah, I don't know. Oh, okay, thank you. Uh, I think for us in Rwanda, we also face the same thing. Uh, and I think after that, after giving the, 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 the overview, how, how, how we deal with it, then I can even also... Uh, you speak up a bit more? Yes, uh, yes. So I'm saying uh, in Rwanda, how we dealt with it, uh, it's the same thing. You have people coming on board, they have nice cameras, they have very beautiful photos. And the question is, after participating, what do I take home? It is a question we all get. But this is how we dealt with it, and we see it working. Yes, we share them without beating around the bush. This is the truth. This is a voluntary work. And this is how impactful your, your picture is going to be to the entire world, not only the, the people in your community, but the entire world. A person wants to, to know maybe about one of the monuments, and they cannot get a picture. That is very bad. So uh, explaining to them the whole essence of this movement, that's one. The second thing is also uh, bringing the previous winners to share some of the benefits, direct and indirect benefits that they get gained from participating. Uh, uh, there is one of, the, well, one of the winners in Rwanda, the first uh, uh, weekly love monument we organized. One of the winners came across and they shared how they have move so many places because of just one picture because a person sees it they need photographic related um, services then they're like oh i think this person i should reach out to them they they, they uploaded a picture of a monument it won in rwanda it was everywhere everyone, everyone got to know them and the monument but again they are there they are indirect benefit of their picture being shared with the world so i think that can also work bringing the previous winners to share some of the benefits they got from the from participating. Uh, just a quick one. I've just remembered. Show them a st statistics of a previous photo. Um, that is always impactful. Like pick one photo and show. There are some tools online which can show you how many times a photo has been viewed. You know, you they see a photo of someone and has been viewed millions of times mm -hmm. and used. That is sometimes inspiring. Yeah, uh, I think. <laughs> what what one last step and then um we'll take another question okay i think all are very useful um yes. suggestions that um, joffrey and derek have given but another thing is that or maybe the worst case try to train those that you already have in your community those who have like very strong phones um, iphones and stuff like that just organize a series of trainings and invite like professionals who can teach them how to capture good images. They should just use their phones to do better. Because we've all tried I've been coordinating with Pilaf's monument since 2018, no, 17. And that, that, that's always like a challenge, like trying to get professional photographers. So as she also mentioned, it's not about one person's work. So if you are trying to engage photographers and you are not at um, like being responsive, just try to organize your community members, train them how to use their phones to capture good images, and that will be it. And I have a question for you. So, for Count Ghana, we, we've been participating in them, we can have and other we can have some for a very long time. And the challenge I see now is that every year we go to capture the same images for the same competition. Because, uh, and for how long are we going to continue doing that? capturing the same place and putting them in common. I know it's very useful to have like different dimensions of images of the same like uh, monument and stuff like that. But is there um, a way to, you know, recommend, you know, um, contributors? For example, if they are organizing in Accra, 
next time, do you recommend them to go to another part of the country where they can capture and buy different monuments from the politicians? Thank you for the new question. First, to round up the question, I think, um, or the answers, I think it comes down to two things. And there's one side is, um, or maybe they're both, it's the storytelling. How do you present the competition? As international team, um, Lucy, I'm very happy that she has now joined us. Lucy, one of her initiatives was to um, uh, revive or actually bring to life um, the LinkedIn account. So one of the things I tell our international jury members and our international prize winners, please add We Can Also Menements International to your LinkedIn profile. Because I know our international prize, two thousand euro, two thousand dollars, is not big for professional photographers. For amateurs, it is a big amount of money to yeah. win. Ah, like oh my god! Um, but um, you know that there, there are multiple benefits. In, indeed, the visibility through Wikipedia, because once you upload the image, it is online. Um, uh, you can show the stats through the different. So um, when the jury has done its national work as organizer, you're not done yet, really, because you would like to take the the hundreds or maybe thousands of images that have got come and in, come in through your campaign and make sure that the images are included on Wikipedia articles on Wikidata um, uh, items. Uh, maybe maybe there's a wiki source material, maybe there's other material. Um, so they get um, visibility again, because that's what you can see. see that's what you can show the photographers as well. Um, uh, sorry, when you get with professional photographers, please, please, please tell them that they are releasing their work under the guidelines because they have this problem and they submitted their photographs and after that they want to organize the uh, exhibition of these photographs and bring it to them. No, you don't use my picture. So please tell them that if you put or you upload your work on Wikimedia Commons, anybody can use them and even send them. this. And then we will not have a better surprise with the next sessions. It's important. It, it, is, it is important. Not, yeah. not everyone realizes what it means, what a free license means. And in short, it just CC BY just means that everyone is free to take your photograph, to alter and change your photograph, and to use it commercially even. But they always have to sign it with your name. Because you are the creator. You are the creator of that creative work. And you deserve accreditation. You deserve to be mentioned for the work you've done. And that's actually how your name gets. Because if they print it on T-shirts, hey, have to do so. But Lysa says, you have to mention my name on every T-shirt you print. It's simple as that. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. Um, sorry, coming to the, to, the, to the second question, can you maybe say something about that? Yeah, question, um, sadly, question. Yeah. You made mention of um, repeating and uploading same, question, same photos every year. Okay, there's a, a strategy that we use in this 2023 Love Monument in Nigeria. So we disseminated it. Though it is a national competition, so and we have local user groups in Nigeria, which I know that is not only one user group that exists in Ghana. So you can organize that the national organizers can get can organize, then disseminate it to the lower user to the other user groups because people from this user group can get photos from that user from can get photos from their community or from their region, which had it been had it been had it been left at the national level, people may not be able to have access to some of those um, um parts of the region. So when you when you bring it down, disseminate it. Then you'll be able to get different perspectives and different photos from, from your community. And the same thing happened in Nigeria. Then in Nigeria, we feel of monument history. We had Igbo Kimidia user group, which I coordinated on. Uh, I know that the Yoruba user group also coordinated yes. I know that Tia and all, all other user and um, outside user groups coordinated. And Nigeria is quite a very large country. So if we just leave it at the national level, 
people are bound not to uh, participate actively because when they see that professional photographers are participating uh, and you are just using your smartphone to participate, you just be discouraged because you'll be like, I am not going to win prizes or my photos are not going to be valued. But in a situation whereby it is diversified, find out that you are not only comp- you are not competing with anybody. You are trying to project your own community. You are trying to project your own region. So this is the aspect and uh, this is the strategy you can also use in your community. Thank you. A question and to add on something on that. Because in the, in the case of um, uh, Nigeria, yes. we have the one big upload campaign, but it has subcategories. Uh, and um, I am uh, one of the montage campaign creators. Montage is a um, jury coordination tool that helps the juries decide. And in case of Nigeria, we now have a separate campaign for Igbo. Yes, yes. But we'll have the final top 10 from Nigeria, Nigeria as a total. Yes. Yeah. So not the different user groups, but one national, one national top 10 that gets sent to the international jury. But we like, we're happy to accommodate wherever we can those local initiatives. If you want to have special prizes or maybe a region or whatever, we try to accommodate as far as um, interface um, and, and our software uh, allows. Um, yeah, question. Okay. Oh. Now, the, you're the timekeeper, right? Yeah, we are actually out of time, over okay. 18 minutes. So that's the last one. And then we. Answer, and yeah. I know that um, uh, Derek, Lucy, Jeffrey, of course, you are happy to answer all questions that come in afterwards. So please, we still have one and a half days of weekly double conference. Get questions, come up. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, the map you showed there, uh, let me get an example of a country like uh, DRC. I, see, I saw it. It's uh, mm. empty. Uh, um, uh, how do you handle such countries? Uh, what I want to talk about is funding. Because I see like the budgets are not that big. Mm-hmm. If, uh, if, uh, if like maybe the user group in DRC was to conduct a, a photo hunt, and uh, the budget is as lean as as it is. Okay, uh, I usually help out uh, Geoffrey to organize weekly labs monuments in Uganda, and we usually have budget constraints. So how how are you going to address the issue of funding for such activities? Derek, yeah, Derek, please. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, there, there, I would say two ways of dealing with that. One is um including Wikilabs Monument Photographic Contest in your ADP in case your community has one, applies for one and has been approved. That's the first uh, avenue. The second one is reaching out to different partners because there are so many uh, partners we, we, who are ready to receive uh, people uh, who are doing something around this. The third one is reaching out to the Wikilabs Monument International Organizing Team. There is a, a micro grant. Uh, even Rwanda has been given that this year and different communities, you reach out to them, uh, you show them the activities. Uh, so the budget constraints, and I think will never ever in in any time be answered 100%, but a, a luggage, uh, I mean, a burden is taken away a little uh, so that at least um, you're able to organize something small and then grow as the time goes on. So I think that's what I can answer. Yeah, I, I, I think to answer, to add on that, I think it's just awareness. Uh, I'm, I'm glad to see some red in, in Zimbabwe, in, in the South Sudan. It's because I reached out to someone that I knew and asked them, can you, can, can you create, you know, with large monuments in that country? Mm-hmm. And that's how it started. So we can make Africa red if we reach out with mediums we know and encourage them to organize with love's money. But of course, you walk them through the process. This is how you apply for a rapid grant. This is where you can get support, you know, because they may not be aware. So I, th- I think it's lack of awareness, but the funding is there really yeah, for people who want to organize such mm-hmm. activities. Thank you for those answers. I'm very sorry that we missed the answers in the chat. It didn't scroll down. So let me address this afterwards because I don't want the people here in Agadir. I don't want to keep you from your lunch any longer. I know we have a session, a few more sessions after lunch. And at three, we go to a social event. So we need to be prepared. 
Um, one last thing, I have stickers here, I have buttons here. Uh, um, take a few um, and, and take them home and share them with others. They, we had um, a special prize for Wikilos Monuments 2022 last year for the Sub-Saharan region. And we had three um, prize winners. We had um, postcards made from the prize winners. So please also take them because spread spread the awareness about Wikilos Monuments, how beautiful uh, the, con the, the countries are that participate in Wikilos Monuments. Um, and um, thank you. Thank you for being here with us today. Okay.